I'm a buff baby that can dance like a man. I can shake up my fanny, I can shake up my can. I'm a tough baby. I can punch your balls. I can punch all your balls. I can punch all your balls. And if you're not doing it right, I will punch you for fun. How did I forget that one line? Hooray! Can I try it? Can I try it? No, I think we pretty much ruined the answer. Redo! I'm gonna punch you your buns. Line! <laughs> punch we all your buns. We ruined Doug. Punch I all won. your buns. We broke no, Doug. We broke him. We broke Doug! And the book. You're welcome. Uh, that had to be put in a book? Yep. <laughs> Well, clearly, since the people who memorize the song still don't know the song. You guys were, like, really excited, too. You were yeah. just like, okay, we're going to have the dance. We're going to we're gonna get the song book. I'm like, there's a song book? Yeah. Punch all your buns. Punch all your buns. Somebody make a gif of him shaking his butt. <laughs> you have to get more into the camera. No, no. Oh. So... Look, there's tree trunks on the back. Oh. Try to all the, and she has the big eyes you want. Yeah, let's talk about the episode because. Uh, you staying in this or you leaving? Yeah, I'm leaving. Oh. oh. Man. Oh, let me just sit here. Cameo! Yeah. So, yeah. Um, memory of a memory. They were like really excited. <laughs> this song rules! I, I, mean, I, I thought there was gonna be like. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give you the lead-in. So you got memory of a memory. Um, you get a uh, uh, supposed spirit animal of uh, Marceline says that she put a sleep spell on herself, and that Finn and Jake need to go inside her mind and get this memory of when she did the sleep spell. Oh, like oh. that, yes. Mark. And ew. Oh, I don't want that either. Oh. And they had to go in, and so I'm thinking like, oh, there's going to be like some sort of big dream song, or it's all going to be like a musical or something like that. Nope. It's going to be this big pre-production. No, it's just there's a scene where Marceline goes in Finn's mind, and he's a baby, and he just does this dumb little dance. He's there's like, dumb! Your there's, dumb. There, there's no music to it. There's no anything. I just... Oh, it's a cappella. You have a problem with a cappella now? Oh, okay. For that much build up, yes, I do. <laughs> oh. Unless it's like real a cappella, like a big group of people coming together. Oh. You know what? I want, like, if, if, if and when they do another season of this, I want Adventure Time to do, like, this big orchestration <laughs> of that song, okay? Just to make up. <laughs> For how much you guys built it up, because you guys oh. really built it up. I need to punch of your buns. No. Punch of your buns. No, I want like John Williams oh. orchestrating this big thing of that song just to make up for the build up that you guys You're had. The okay, worst. we can do that. Jack, will you help? Sure. Alright. Okay. Jack's on it. Yeah. Um let me know how that goes. <laughs> I'll call John Williams personally. Awesome. The uh, the Star Wars film composer, not the porn film composer. Oh, what? Because I found out actually there is, I found that out from Family Guy, actually there yeah. is a John Williams who does porn music. John Williams. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, okay, so, just, there's just a lot of, you have no idea how much build up there was for that, but we're probably going into too much detail now. Or I am at least. Okay, so. I'm a uh, bunch of your books. <laughs> <laughs> so so they, they go into her, uh, her uh, memory, very John Malkovich, uh, being John Malkovich, uh, right to where they're like falling through the doors and then like the gravity changes and stuff like that. Uh, but it's not bad. And they get to this memory and they grab it and it turns out it was actually her boyfriend who was the spirit animal. And did he actually have his arms in yeah. the opening? Like, do yeah. you see that no, he has no, his arms in the No, you don't see him in the opening? beginning, no. Okay, I thought that actually, because I was thinking like, wait, did I see his arms in the opening? And then when you saw he was just faking it, I, I, I was like, that'd be hilarious if you actually saw that he had his arms before no. and then said they did because I don't know how many people would have paid attention to that. True. Like, because I was thinking like, wait, did he have his arms or didn't he? I think they actually could have gotten away with having him have arms and then when he says he didn't have arms, People would believe it. <laughs> well, you know what, though? The big problem would be it would be the hoopla of continuity error and all of that. No, no, but but Finn and Jake, I, no, he I says he's the what... spirit animal, and of course it's like he's not an animal, so it's I like already something's up. Saying. I understand what you're saying and where you're coming from, but I think most people would just be like, it's a continuity error! Ah! Nah, I, I think it could work, but... Um, eh. so, so it's actually Marceline's old boyfriend, Ash, who wanted 
her to get rid of the memory of them breaking up. Uh, so Finn and Jake do that, and he goes out with her again, and he's still kind of a jerk. And Finn makes her remember the memory, and they just kick the crap out of him, uh, pretty much. Uh, mostly in the ball area. <laughs> uh, and while they're in Finn's memory, there's a dance of Punch sorts. Punching your buns! That has the punching of buns in it. Um, God, Good you thing you're not a that. witch. Uh, I yeah. I punch you for fun. That song's awesome, just deal with it. <laughs> I, I guess I have to. <laughs> they, they, they made a friggin' book out of it. <laughs> go buy it, by the way, that's the way to go. Get away with it. But yeah, YouTube's probably gonna like take this on. Just you guys singing that wrong. They're gonna be like, oh, that's we're not gonna let you post this now because you're not saying this. Take them off, we don't want them. <laughs> I, we've mostly been quiet about that, but it's bullshit, like everyone. <laughs> it's like the biggest ass bullshit. Like, and all the video game companies and music companies and stuff, it's like, we're not even saying anything! Just yeah. YouTube's doing this! We're not even touching it! Hey, so, hey, it, it's such bullcrap. I'm sorry. I <laughs> what just wanted to get that out there. What did learn from this episode? Uh, what did I learn from this episode? Uh, I guess just that Marceline had a boyfriend and he was a jerk. Uh, and nothing else. Yeah. I... We really get down to it. I guess it's it. There are hints of stuff like you saw, you, you saw a little bit of her childhood, which was kind of interesting. You saw a destroyed tank in the bed, which I like. You know, again, just signifying sort of the war that blew up everything. Um, I like it whenever they have a, a kid character that's a young representation of an older character, an adult character, when they actually get a kid to do the voice. Mm. Uh, I, I just think that's more fun. I like what they did with Baby Plucky in what? Tiny 2 when they oh had to get a kid to do it. You know, yeah. it's like, I, I just love it when they really do that. Um, though I'm assuming that was Finn doing Baby Finn, and that was pretty funny. Honestly, I don't know. Possibly. I actually... It could have been. Though, it, it, even then, the more I think about it, it probably would have been funnier if they got, like, a really younger kid. Like, you a really high pitch boy. Yeah, I think it could be even funnier. Say punch of your buns. Oh. Um, God, say it. Is, punch of your buns. Yes. Buns. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's my... Thanks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you didn't want to do a commentary on this one. Um... So, yeah, what are you loading? I'm going to the credits to see. If oh, well, to see if that actually yeah, was. go it. on. Okay, go okay, on. so we're still talking. Um, but, yeah, so so pretty much, uh, it is, so you see her as a kid. I love it when she says, I hurt you because I love you. I mean, that's <laughs> nice and messed up. Um, you, you see the father eating the fries, which it's still not really explained why she would have her heart broken over because that. Because she's a teenager. Everything a parent does to a teenager is like daggers. Daggers. How was your day? Oh my god. No, no, no. It's like, I, I, I get, I get that. No, I, I understand that, but I think there's still... I don't know if that's directly how they're playing it up. Like, there's... I think they just want something really silly and stupid, but not necessarily like, it's because she's a teen and she's like that. Um... Maybe that just plays a hint. I don't know. I get the feeling there's more of a story behind that. Like, once you find out, like, the importance of the fries or something. Um, maybe it's the one thing she eats that isn't red. It, maybe. I mean, yeah, like, that would just make red, more, more sense. Yeah, right? it just feels like there'd be something don't, else bigger uh, those things. going on. I get the feeling they probably hinted at it, but it, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, well, no, it's the fact that the father, like, when he was told that one time, was like, you know, Marceline, I'm so sorry, I didn't know, like, it's not like, oh, you're just being a dumb teen, like, he's like, wow, I never realized that, so, there's some weight to it, and I am curious about, that is, like, the one thing I'm the most curious, maybe even more than the whole apocalypse thing, is just, <laughs> what is the fries thing, um, and when you see it, it's like, well, it didn't really answer anything still, but it's like, I'm still curious, like, if there's a story to that, um, so, and what else, what else? We had... I like when Finn was all, like, watching that scene, and he's like, Don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, he's Don't like, Don't eat oh. those. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Um, I'm trying to think what else. Okay, I... well, when you have little Marceline, little Marcy, or, what? Well, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. When you have little Marcy uh, playing with her little bear. That sounds like with... a spin-off show. <laughs> little Marcy. Oh. <laughs> Which, that's the bear that is her most prized possession. Remember, he sold it, and she's like, that's the most important thing to me, and that's why they broke up. So you see she has it as a kid, which it looks like, to me at least, was right after the Mushroom War, because there's still fires yeah. burning in the background and everything. But what's one thing about uh, Little Marcy that's different than 
the other times they show her throughout. No fangs? No. No bite no, marks. No bite marks. So, no so she was probably one of the survivors of the mushroom war or whatever. Okay. You know? And, and it's, yeah, because that's what I was saying, because, like, there was nobody else around, and she had the bear. The bear looked like it been through hell, and she keeps, and it has patches and stuff. Even when she needs a new eye, she takes one of her buttons, so you get the idea she's taking, like, bits of her clothes or whatever she can find, and she's trying to keep this thing alive, because that's probably all she has. Yeah. Um... So, maybe the fries were like the other best friend she had, or childhood friend, or something like that. Those, they'd be a little older and probably more moldy, unless they're McDonald's fries, in which case they, <laughs> they wouldn't change at all. Oh <laughs> they still just yummy. Like, yeah, they'd, still be, they'd just be like a different color, and that's it. <laughs> and then you asked the question last episode, or every other episode, about Finn and Jake. Mm -hmm. Remember when there's the little dance? Marceline laughs, and she's in this hallway that has a bunch of pictures of... I didn't see what the pictures were of. Oh, no. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. There are pictures uh, of... Jake's parents. Jake's parents oh, really? baby and he... Jake, and Finn specifically says, this is the house I grew up in, this is Okay, house. so it so it probably is that uh, Jake's family raised him then. Yes. Okay, that, that's... Probably when they probably picked right. him up to clean his boom boom. You kissed a boom boom baby. <laughs> so, so you need okay. to start paying attention to these things. I, I try, there's so much going on in this friggin' <laughs> world, you know, it's it's tough, but it's... You know, I picked up on the tank, I picked up that she wasn't a vampire, the, the, I picked up a few things. Um, Not good but, uh, No, I actually... but the, No, I was trying to pay attention to a little bit of the surroundings with him as a youngin, because it's like, oh, he's doing a cute dance. I'm like, wait a minute, this is him. This is the past. Like, let me look around and stuff, because it's... Yeah. And I really do like that. I like how it's something that an older audience would really want to look for, but younger audience just wouldn't think of, and they don't really draw attention to mm -hmm. it for younger kids. That really is something fun for adults to observe. Um, and it, it's done very clever, because I'm trying to think at all. I think the only thing they have is the quote-unquote mushroom wars, which could just be... You know, to a kid, just could be mushrooms. You know, yeah. you don't know. Uh, and everything else is just so slightly hinted at. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it is very fascinating how there is sort of like just this very, you know, terrifying apocalyptic story going on that you would just never figure out, you know, if you were a little kid. Um, I am just so curious. Okay, I, like I said, the apocalypse happens somewhere. How did all the other stuff happen? The magic <laughs> world and stuff. That is what I am so curious about. Well, if it was nuclear war, like the mutations maybe. and stuff like that, maybe. And, and, but how would Finn and uh, Marceline say? Well, Marceline, we know, turns into a vampire. Yeah. But I mean, how would you know uh, that happens? Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe. maybe... Well, remember there was a. Oh my God! What was her name from below? Susan. We, Susan. Yeah, that's right. Susan. They were all on the ground and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And we don't know if they're if human, or, human not, or not, but it yeah. seems like she could be, so maybe. Yeah, they get that up. You know, yeah, I take it back. That's sort of the closest one we've had to really saying, hey, Finn is like the only human. Is there another human? Uh, and that one actually did bring that to the forefront. But like, even a kid would be like, yeah, where are the humans? Or is she, was she a human too? How'd that work? Um, so. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I like this one, and at first I was sort of like, oh, I thought there's gonna be even more, because anything, like, going into the mind of something in Adventure Time, I'm like, holy crap, I gotta, let like, get ready for this. <laughs> and I really like the scene where they're in, uh, silhouette, uh, or white silhouette, I should say, and they're trying to look for the memory and stuff, I thought that, that was very cool looking, you know? Everything else, I was sort of like, you know, oh, okay, yeah, John Malkovich, uh, being John Malkovich did that, and... Well, that's kind of need the gravity thing, but I thought it was going to be a lot more surreal. Uh, slash, maybe more in the forefront dramatic, but yeah, I like how more in the background, mm -hmm. you know, if you're sort of observing a lot of that stuff, you can pick up on it. Uh, but it's not like there's nothing in the foreground, either. Well, that was very obviously in the foreground. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I picked up on that, but not the pictures. And <laughs> no, I just love how they show her picking her nose, and... When she's wiping it on the couch, there's Finn just like through like the little like window <laughs> thing, if you will, just, just going. And <laughs> <laughs> then it like cuts that. away. Just like I love how his face is just like. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the varying sizes too. I thought that was sort mm -hmm. of a nice. Um, yeah, that was more Alice in Wonderland, but yeah, I, I did. Now, both of those, I thought it, it. 
it still worked. I still, like, it was still an effective way of going from No, I have a curiosity, and I'm very curious. Like, five, six years from now, are you going to sit there and say, that's very adventure timey? Uh, I think you should. Oh, you, oh, like, you, brought, of you brought up being stuff. John Malkovich, and then you brought up. Oh, I, I'm sure. Well, no, well, this, this stuff is doing a lot of things there as, like, like anything, like it. Well, even being John Malkovich takes from. Well, no, that, I know. That's a mouse in Wonderland, too, and, and, like, Frankenstein and all these famous. I was just uh, curious monsters. if you'd ever use that, maybe. I, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure it will, because, I mean, it has created its own very unique world that's borrowing from other stuff, yeah. but is so its own thing. Yeah. Um, and has so much energy and unpredictability, which I like. Um, and, uh... But you don't like the Punch of Your Bun song. And not for the build-up! I will not assassinate for the build you! Hm. I'm settling in this time. Punch in your bones, gonna punch in your bones. Shit!